All right, so Kyrie Irving is now beefing with Jamal Murray of the Denver Nuggets. Kyrie Irving, of course, of the Boston Celtics. Denise is to my left. I am Rick. TYT.com slash join. Become a member today to keep us independent. So here's what occurred. Jamal Murray was at 48 points. He wanted 50. He wanted the 50 burger. So what did he do as time was winding down? No one's playing defense. The Celtics are not following. There's like six seconds left in the game. Going for 50. Celtics not playing defense. Here's what occurred. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, Celtics will remember that. It's <laughs> amazing. So, Kyrie got mad. To say the least. His way of taking out his frustrations for Jamal Murray going for 50. By the way, he missed. At least make it. Going for 50, throws the ball in the stands. <laughs> so Kyrie was asked about it post game that night. We're now a few days into this. After the game, here's what Kyrie said. What kind of competitor wouldn't bother? You know what I'm saying? So, like, I understand we fouled him going to the free throw. I don't want to make a big deal. Obviously, I was pissed off at the game, but it's time to decompress and move on. Um, congratulations to him out of 48 points. You know, he did it in a great fashion against us. You know, our defense has to be better, especially against a player like that, mid pick and roll. You know, he was the primary concern tonight, and um, you know he made us pay in certain instances of just making some tough shots and some tough layups, and um, you know, but the ball deserves to go on the crowd after. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd, the ball deserves to go to the crowd. Oh gosh, <laughs> no good. <laughs> I mean, I understand his frustrations, <laughs> but at the same time, it's but. like. If you let it get to that point, like that's kind of your own fault. Like you should have played better. Your team should have played better. I understand, it, you know, I get it, but it's just, it's calm. He's, he's playing like he's playing college. He's reacting, not playing. Yeah. Don't hate me in the comments. He's reacting like he's playing college basketball. <laughs> like you don't, or high school basketball. Like, yeah, I understand, like you get frustrated, you know. You expect players, you're, you're probably homies with the players that you're playing against. So you expect them to, to be a little more humble and react a little better but or nicer, quote unquote. But there's no such thing. This is the pros. Totally. Why, and, he, and why are you going to waste your money like that? What money? $25,000 he was fine. Uh, understood. Yes. That's he was fine silly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. That's silly. Unless you like hit a baby. All right. I'm cool with it. You're telling me. Okay. You're telling Hold on. So you're telling me, let's say you get paid here. Two dollars an hour. Let's say, okay, let's say you get We're just paid. trying to be accurate. All right, fine. Let's say you're, you're, you have his contract. Oh, okay. okay yeah. You have his contract. Yeah. You're still willing to give up $25,000 over an emotional moment? Yeah. BS. Yeah. BS. Here's what dude. I would do. That's if I got, get emotional. That's like the dumbest if I, thing ever. If I get emotional. Don't call me dumb. I Not feel, you. I feel it. Not you. Uh, if I get emotional, by the way, like that. I would throw it into the stands, not hit a baby, and then donate the 25k to charity. But you can't donate it. I'm not talking about So then you're essentially wasting 50,000 because you're going to get fined? Fine no, no, no. Five. I'm going to get fined and I'm going to say, yeah, let's just donate it. Let's make it for a better cause. But PR like, spin. But you're being fined. So it's like basically telling a police officer, like, he's, you pass the stop, uh, stop sign. It's they're called the California you. roll, all right? Okay, you California should know this. Roll. Fair, fair. Yeah. You're passing a stop sign. You're going to tell a police officer, look, officer, rather than charging me, let's just donate it to charity. <laughs> Yeah, if the officer was dope no, as hell, like, how does that and then I'd throw sense? a basketball in his face, hit my nos, push it 95 on a 10 to 405 to the 101, maybe get off at sunset, and then you're in Marina Del Rey. No, listen, if you're going to get mad, like just play some defense. If you don't want him to shoot, play some defense. I agree That's with it. that point. That's fundamentally sound. See, this is why we love Denise Jones, because when I go off the rails, she's like, no, 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 just don't give up 48. Agreed. <laughs> I, and I feel the same exact way. Because here's the other thing, and Edwin knows about this all too well, and so does uh, JR and Jesus, who are the biggest baseball fans here. You know what you want to do if you don't want Yasiel Puig pimping a home run? Don't give up a stinking home run. Basically. You know what? You don't want him to score 48 on your ass and him to go for 50? How about you hold him to 22? Then he won't take the three to get to 25. Can you imagine in a post-game quote where he'd be like, yeah, I just really wanted 25. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's stupid as hell. <laughs> so, again, we're a few days in. Here's what Kyrie said 
two days after it. Take a look. I'm like league wide, that's a that that's like an unwritten rule that everybody kind of follows. Is that fair to say? I mean, when everyone knows the intent of it, I think it just makes it clear of like what's going on. You know, just you know, obviously I'm watching and um, I'm watching the play at the end of the game, and I'm just watching to see if he's really going to shoot the ball. And you know, that's just so thirsty of a player to just go after something like that. You know, clearly, 50 points is a big deal, but get it within regulation. Take it at your, you know, take it as a man. Get your free throws and get to 50 points. But you don't wait until the end of the game when everyone's not playing to to just launch up a shot and then nonchalantly go like this as if it doesn't even matter. You know, so it's just a tradition in the league, but it's just immature. So again, I get it. I get that he's mad <laughs> that he shot that. My teammates would always tell the same thing. Our coaches would actually coach us not to do that. If we're up, just hold the ball, right. dribble it out, run the clock. You remember when you were beating the tar off a team and they were like, all right, five passes before you right. shoot. Right, yeah. yes, exactly, yeah. okay? But this is the pros, baby. Like, you can't just <laughs> freaking get upset because somebody's, like, Oh, you know, man, like, you, how, how is he going to just shoot the ball when at the end of the game when nobody's playing? Why is nobody playing if the game is not over? Because it's out of reach. Thing. That's like no, that's standard protocol. No, I get it. But if you're going to be upset over something like that and you're going to call somebody thirsty, I'm sorry. He's, he's quenched. His team won. <laughs> like, clearly the thirsty one here is oh. the one that lost. Like, you're a little parched. Oh. I get it. And I love Kyrie. That's not to say that I don't. I really do love Kyrie. But sometimes some of the stuff that he says, I can't agree with. This is something I can't agree with. If you're going to be frustrated, put some effort in winning the game. And don't stop playing until the game is over. I get that there's no chance that he might be winning or the team might be winning. But don't make yourself look like this. I have one last point, and I just remembered this. Do we recall last year, I don't remember if it was in Denver or L.A., but the Nuggets took on the Lakers. Do we remember when Jamal Murray... Dribbled out the clock and then dribbled around Lonzo Ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's developing a reputation, my friends. And I, I, I get it. Don't, don't give up 48. But also, you got two strikes on your record now. <laughs> so. Look, as long as that each game that he decides to be petty, he wins. Mm -hmm. well, I'm, he, here, for, I'm here for the nothing, pettiness. We need it. There's nothing they can tell him. All righty. Let us know your thoughts. YouTube.com slash TYT Sports. Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven day free week trial.